if I'm a felon, just coming home from a 20-year sentence because of Joe Biden and that bullshit bill that him, him and Hillary put forth. Another thing about how uh, perspectives change over time. Bobby Rush, member of Congress, said the other day, I'm ashamed that I voted for the 94 crime bill. You ashamed of that bill? Not at all. Um, and in fact, I drafted the bill, as you remember. I know that. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized, they literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now, not out of a liberal instinct for love, brother, and humanity, although I think that's a good instinct, but for simple, pragmatic reasons. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. Mass incarceration has put hundreds of thousands behind bars for minor offenses. Joe Biden wrote those laws. Every major crime bill that's come out of this Congress has had the name Joe Biden on that bill. We do everything but hang people for jaywalking in this bill. Joe Biden's policies destroyed millions of black lives. Joe Biden may not remember, but we do. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Take a look at my record, man. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I marched with tens of thousands of others. He had not actually marched during the civil rights movement and kept telling the story anyway. I came out of the civil rights movement. I was one of those guys that sat in and marched and all that stuff. Now his aides went back to say, look, he was in office marching for the idea. That's not the word marching. <laughs> I was not out marching. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. They're going to put you all back in chains. And you ain't black. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. You ain't black. You ain't black. You ain't black. You ain't black. The most racist thing a person could tell me is that I'm supposed to choose something based on my race. You ain't black. 